How to teach a horse to neck rein. In horseback riding a neck rein is a way of steering the horse by giving it cues with the reins on either side of its neck. One of the benefits of the neck rein is that it allows the rider to control the horse with one hand. It's also a necessary skill for certain types of riding, such as riding with a curb bit. While the neck rein isn't a terribly advanced skill, it does require some prior training and knowledge on the part of the rider for training to be successful. Teaching the neck rein. Have some basic riding skills pre-taught before you start. Ideally, neck reining isn't the first skill you teach your horse. The horse should already be trained in certain riding skills before you begin. Neck reining is essentially a culmination of these beginner skills that gives you greater control over the horse. The skills you'll want your horse to know already are how to travel in a straight line and stop. How to steer direct rein. How to disengage the hips. How to control the shoulders. How to pivot on the hindquarters. Mount up. Start by getting your horse ready to ride. Saddle your horse and connect your reins to a smooth cheek snaffle bit. Don't use a shanked bit, as this can be painful for the horse to learn with. Some riders choose to eventually switch to a shanked bit once the horse learns this skill. 3. Start off at a gentle walk. Go to a safe, secure place and ask your horse to walk forward or in a large circle. Make sure you have plenty of space on all sides to move around. Turn the horse with a direct rein. When you're ready, cue your horse to turn with a direct rein. In other words, gently guide the horse's nose to the side that you want to turn by pulling on the rein on that side. For example, if you want the horse to turn left, pull on the left rein so that the horse's nose turns slightly to the left. The rest of the horse's body should follow. Simultaneously lay the outside rein against the horse's neck. This step is crucial. As you cue your horse to turn, lay the outside rein the rein on the opposite side is the way you're turning against the side of the horse's neck. For example, if you're turning to the left, lay the rein against the right side of the neck. The goal here is to connect the act of turning with the sensation of the rein against the horse's neck so that eventually this is all you'll need to do to cue the horse to turn. Thus, you want to be decisive, don't be harsh or rough, but make sure your horse feels the rein against his neck. Use the rest of your body to cue the turn. At the same time as you're using your reins to cue the horse to turn, use your leg muscles and body weight to drive the point home. Apply gentle pressure with the calf of your outside leg the leg on the side opposite the way you're turning just behind the cinch. Repeat the training process. Your horse won't learn this skill immediately, so you'll probably need to repeat the process outlined above until your horse starts to get it. For consistency, it's best to practice neck reining in a variety of conditions. Vary your routine with the following guidelines. Try turning both left and right. Make both sharp and shallow turns. Practice at a range of speeds, for example, a walk, a trot, and a lope. Practice in multiple locations. Test your horse's skill by turning with an indirect neck rein. When you think your horse has learned to neck rein, test your new skill. Hold the reins in one hand behind the horse's neck. Cue the horse to turn by draping the reins against one side of his neck rather than gently pulling on his nose as you would when riding direct rein. As you do this, push with your leg on the same side and lean your weight slightly into the turn. If your training has been successful, the horse should turn away from the draped rein. Keep in mind that you are cueing your horse to turn by laying the reins against the opposite side of the neck as the direction you want your horse to turn. In other words, to turn left, you'll lay the reins against the right side of the horse's neck and vice versa.